So my name is Omar Abbasad. It's 3.44 p.m. June 30th, 2020. So I'm doing this upload to uh, counter some of the uh, reports that has been submitted about me. Um, in the news, there is a lot of um, information about um, mobs, protesters, and the mobs in the protesters crowd. Um, obviously, there is a lot of people who are calling themselves protesters, but really are not. Um, they are there to make trouble. And um, because it is a Black Lives Matter protest, there is a lot of Black people in there just to make trouble. So um, that's the mob. It's the public mob. I'm not talking about organized crime here. I'm talking about the mob, like being mobbed a crowd by a crowd of people. Um, this is what the, a mob does. It breaks the law, uses violence, uses, uses intimidation, uses fear to try to get what they want, which is really terrorism. So in my case, I'm being flagged by the dirty cops who are working with the traffickers in the building. PK obviously is a trafficker. He solicited me. So he obviously is a Chinese trafficker. Um, so the dirty cops who are flagging based on PK's teams and other teams that take contracts as a result of the flag, they're, they're flagging it and throwing it back or throwing the targets back into the community, allowing the community to police. Well, we all saw what happened when the community polices. So now um, there is a, a group of people who are calling for defunding the police and getting rid of the police altogether. And uh, instead of having police force have um, community-based programs well, <laughs> I'm experiencing what that means. What's going on at 25 Bamberg Circle with Omar Rambasad, who's never been a prostitute and is not a prostitute, and who's been try and, and uh, who's the traffickers are trying to recruit as a sex slave, um, and who are calling a prostitute because they think they thought they recruited already, and by passing me around, they thought that. I would internalize all of that and become one, which of course is not going to happen, hasn't happened, will not happen, never going to happen. Um, so I am being thrown to the mob by the dirty cops working with the trafficking group, Chinese group selling to Muslims, Blacks, Somalis. Pakistanis, Indians in the building, which is the minority. Um, the, 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 the building is 99.9% .9 Chinese. So I'm being thrown to the mob. So what I am live streaming outside my window is my being mobbed. For years, what's being talked about outside my window is... Um, is uh, my being lynched, my being evicted, my being picked up to be charged, my being um, mentally committed, picked up to have under warrants to have mental evaluation, going on for at least 15 years now. So, um, so I, the charge was tried, um, a fake charge was tried, uh, to, to, or to try to make it stick, didn't. Mental evaluation tried to make that stick, didn't. So it's an ongoing, ongoing effort to get these things to happen. So the more I tweet and the more I expose it, the more aggressive are the attempts to dispose of me. So what I've been live streaming outside my window is mobbing. It's a lynching, which is mobbing with the intention to lynch. Mobbing, of course, is illegal.
it's terrorization, it's torture, it's harassment, it's stalking, it's abuse. So what, um, and I'm being pulsed on my thighs, and there it is right there. So the mob, which includes the dirty cops taking part in it, because I'm being, and my chest is being um, scanned. Um, the cops are part of the mob, the dirty cops. They're the ones who's flagging. They're the ones who intercepts because the mob asked them to. Um, and the mob has a manager and, and uh, people are taking turns to practice on me because targets are used to practice. So the experiment is communism in the building, running the building as a communistic, um, uh, I'm not gonna say state, but um, it sure feels like it has a, a bunch of lo uh, um, a bunch of uh, laws that is um, very unique to the building, as opposed to other condominium corporations. Um, it de definitely have a communistic flavor to it. Um, so you have the management, and then you have this external um, management system that includes reporting and flagging residents and um, throwing them to the mob. And if you're in the building, the mob is basically from the building. And then it extends because what's going on in the building follows you everywhere you go because that team infiltrates or have somebody follow you, physically have somebody follow you around in relay form because today's technology that can be done very easily. Your contact trace, in other words, uh, one form of contact tracing. So even, eventually we're all going to be tracked this way. But this was happening to me for years and years and I've been telling the cops and the cops are telling me I'm, I'm paranoid. But again, targets are being used to practice on. So what COVID-19 is bringing in, um, I've been experiencing for at least 15 years uh, and reporting and being told that I'm paranoid. Um, so the mob, let's go back to the mob. So uh, what you hear outside the window is mobbing with the intention to lynch. So because the cops are taking part in it, they're, they're uh, being updated by the mob outside that they're, they're um, making announcements about me. They're releasing information about me. They're doing investigations about me 15 years now. They're of course flagging and outsourcing the monitoring, which, which makes all these things happen. Um, so uh, I can't go to the police. So I stream because the police is a part of it. So I stream. I, I went to about five police stations and uh, throughout years and uh, none of them would take a statement from me. Nobody would take a statement from me saying that in which I was saying that I'm being stalked and would actually present pictures of the people who are stalking me in videos will not take a statement from me. So I have no other choice but to expose it to the world and who's doing it. So it is obvious, very, very, very obvious that uh, I am being stalked, I am being flagged, I am being experimented with, I am being tortured because what's going on outside the window is torture. Um, uh, directed energy weapons are being used. I just demonstrated it. And I'll show you what it It's like on my body. The air is being hit, the jaw, which has swollen. And yesterday I took some pictures of my ankle that was quite swollen. So today the swelling has gone down quite a bit. Um, it was mainly heat because um, my foot was tagged, my entire left leg was tagged, hit at very, very high power. In other words, it was being cooked. So the tissue um, would just expand. 
So after taking a shower and cooling off my body, and, um, and um, I took uh, some anti-inflammatories and staying off the food. Um, uh, and just uh, allowing the, the blood flow to, um, the blood to, to, to flow out of the, the area. The swelling is almost gone. So it's just in, in just one night, that's how fast it disappears. So uh, it's the heat. When the power is turned up, it creates a lot of heat. And I actually demonstrated this several times, several times. 36.7, my forehead, 36.8. Thirty-seven six. Right side hotter than the left because thirty-six eight. Thirty-seven four. Possibly because I'm being hit at a higher power on the right on the left side. Uh, sorry, on the right side. There, that's the right side. And it's very possible that um, there are there is nanotechnology in my system. Now, keep in mind that nanotechnology can get into your system in a number of ways. Um, it could be it can go into the system via a needle, a vaccine, as Bill Gates talking about. It could be shot into you, so uh, you would feel something like um, a bee sting. And it can be shot into you. Um, if you have um, a, a colluding doctor taking part in the experiment, they can do it while you're you're uh, under. Um, I'm not sure if you could ingest it. If you ingest it, it probably passed through your system, most likely. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Um, with nanotechnology, things can be programmed to do who knows what. I don't know. I haven't researched it. Um, you could do your own research on that. Um, you know, so nanotechnology could be used for a lot of things. If you have a lot of um, um, nanotechnology in your, in your system, uh, it will heat up because it's metal based. So yesterday, I um, I streamed a lot of uh, videos while I went to do grocery. Just I was out for less than two hours, and um, of course I was mobbed. Um, not as much, uh, but not as uh, um, maybe the word should be, the better word is stalked. I was stalked. Um, some days I am mobbed. Um, but just to give you an idea of how organized this um, community targeting is and how race-based it is, when the, um, the person who has the receipt is of a certain background, like um, say for instance a Muslim man has it, then the Muslim would organize the relay style tracking. So yesterday, um, I was in a grocery store and of course, um, I was, uh, um, as I said, uh, I was stalked and I was harassed with these comments. Um, effing whore is a very, very, very common one used, but, um, they call names of the people who's lived with me, who had the link in the password that the mob is using to take away the targets, um, and there's a lot of targets out in the world. Not only kids and women, there are a lot of men who are being targeted because there's a lot of gay people who are after men and boys. Um, so uh, there's a lot of uh, talk about um, the people who live with me. So I hear names of people who were in past workplaces who took turns from the person who had the receipt in the workplace um, I heard names from the contractors group outside. 
I heard names from uh, people who work in the building, residents. Um, uh, uh, well, I don't know a lot of people's names in the building because I don't socialize with them. Um, but I pretty much try to keep to myself, except when I have to deal with management or um, or um, um, just say hi, hello to people who do. And these days, I don't say hi, hello, uh, or hello to a whole lot of people. Um, but uh, I pretty much keep to myself. So I don't have any friends in the building, and that's uh, intentional. Um, because there's a lot of gangs moving in into the building. The whole demography of the area, I've been in the building for about more than 20 years, and the whole thing has changed. So there's a lot of um, groups are coming in from third world countries, from different cultures that run sex slave operations normally. It's normal to them. Um, you know, and, and trafficking is normal. These things are uh, very common in the countries that they come from, so they practice it. So I pretty much keep to myself. Eventually I will sell. Um, it's not a good market right now, but um, eventually I will sell. It's just not a place that I want to spend the rest of my life. In. Uh, and it's getting a lot worse. And, and it's possible that it's worse in, in other places that um, seem to be better because looks are deceiving. Um, and I just got a sting. So people like PK, who is a Chinese rapist and, and warlord, uh, who are actually raping other people in the building, he's soliciting me then, he's doing it to other people. Um, there are a lot of him, there are a lot of people like him around in the area. So um, what's going on in the building is just a reflection of what's going on in the community. Um, they're selling to people in the area. They're uh, of all ethnic backgrounds. They're trafficking and selling to all different backgrounds. So active denial systems, directed energy weapons, microwave based are being used to contain, to track, to track, I should say, to contain, to torture, to rape, and dispose of, to set up and to frame. So all the tweets that I've been tweeting reflects this. This is just a summarization. The tweets are just point, bullet points. That specific time, that specific place, that specific person is doing that specific thing. And it's repetitive because the program is repetitive. The agenda is the same. The template is the same that's being used. So everybody follows the same template and uses the same trigger words and uses the same phrases and comments because they're, they're, um, these phrases and comments are supposed to be embedded in, in, in your mind to trigger you. These are triggers. Pull the trigger. That is what it means. It doesn't mean about a gun. It's not referring to a gun. It means a mental trigger. Because you, you're sensitized to it. This is why it's repeated, to sensitize you to it. And then that sensitization, the trigger, is is um, is linked to a negative feeling like anger, fear. Fear is a big one. Uh, COVID-19, there is a trigger for you. What do you feel? Fear, right? What is the image that pops into your mind? Hooked up to a ventilator, struggling to breathe and dying in a day, fear. So this is the same idea. You And this is what I've been Tweeting, you would see the re repetition in my tweets. Effing whore, mental retard, um, um, swollen legs, um, can't take care of herself, um, public guardian, um, um, uh, uh, a sexual addict, and all sorts of sexual comments because the idea is to paint me, bury me in a sexual way, uh, to paint me as a sexual pervert. Uh, and so any, every time somebody sees me, um, something sexual is going to come to their mind. So this helps in selling, and it helps in degradation, degrading the person. 
So here I am saying I'm not a prostitute, never have been a prostitute, don't intend to become one. Um, I'm doing obviously doing just the opposite, exposing the process of recruitment and procurement. So, um, I, I, the, 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 which is why there is a constant attempt to convert me, to win me, to bring me into the fold, which means that, and the fold actually, the mob that is the fold, bringing you back into the fold, is a satanically based mob. Their agenda is based in Satanism. It's based in sadomasochistic, sat satanic agenda. It's the, it's the, it's it's based in in um, the males dominating the females and degrading, and disempowering, and um, and um, uh, and using and abusing, and dehumanizing women. This is the whole agenda, and this is what you're hearing outside my window. Because it's a misogynistic agenda. It's satanic, evil. And this is what's outside the window, which is why I'm streaming it. The idea is to keep me in fear and keep me on edge all the time, which, which is uh, working, let me tell you. Um, these men, they actually log on to you at night because the mob are using directed energy weapons to rape, to stalk and to rape. So these men are actually logging on to you at night, which these signals are demonstrating and raping, looking at you inside of your home, in your bedroom, in your bathroom, as you take a shower, as you use your toilet, and they're openly talking about it. So why is it going on? Because obviously they infiltrated the police, they infiltrated the, the government, or else they would not be able to do this so openly. There is an infiltration. To be at the mercy of the mob, all fixed. It's all fixed. And so here is a high blood pressure, 132 over 81. And I'll show you the last couple that I took. So it was 130 over 83, 127 over 84, 132 over 81. So 89, 88, and 83 heart rate. High blood pressure. Right? So this is as a direct result of the harassment outside my window. There's a direct correlation. <clears throat> there is... It's not triggering the alarm, but the alarm, but my throat is being hit. Uh, as I was saying, there's a direct correlation between these numbers and what's going on outside the window. So, um, so could you imagine weeks of being harassed this way? So, uh, if something is said and you're insulted so badly and you verbalize inside of your home, that's recorded. It's recorded by people who are constantly listening to you around your unit. And then it's taken to the cop saying, gee, something is wrong with her. When really what's going on is the manager has asked that the people around switch you, meaning harass you to the point where you start verbalizing that you are triggered, that your blood pressure is higher, your heart rate goes up. And uh, because of all these uh, physiological reactions, there is a need to deal with the stress. My way is verbalizing. They record the verbalizing and they, then they take it to the court and say, gee, I think it's, 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 um, it's just happening out of the blues. Well, I'm demonstrating every day for the last two weeks that it's not happening out of the blues. These numbers, my high, the high blood pressure numbers are not happening out of the blues. It's happening because of the harassment outside the window. Talking like this helps lower my blood pressure, and I just demonstrated that. I started at 132 over 83. It went down to 127 over 84. 
then it went up back up to 132 over 81 and that is partially because I'm being hit with these weapons with these signals but talking helps so I'm going to take my pressure one more time and then I'll close this off. It's going on um, it's going on half an hour. I'll also take my temperature. So 130 over 88. So 37.3, the power went up, 37.4. Thirty six eight. So uh, Walter Smith is saying we're gonna get you out of here, you effing old whore. Will that will will comments like that increase your blood pressure? Well, I just demonstrated. There, thirty seven eight. The power is turned off because the um, the people who are monitoring me don't like the talk. He just shouted outside the window, shut up, bitch. Thirty-six nine. Thirty-seven four. Because there's a competition going for the contract. Thirty-seven three, so I do not have a fever. Thirty-six seven. And the right side is always hotter, 37.3. I do not have a temperature, 36.7. I do not have a fever. So it's 27 minutes, 30 seconds. One more time. So the people who are um, shouting these remarks outside my window is Smith, S-M-I-D, contracting. That's the, com the corporation, the company that is harassing me, the employees. So you notice the swelling of the face. <whistles> On and off. So 134 over 83. So I'm just going to close this off here.